Welcome to my channel, Aligning With My Soul. Um, first of all, I wanted to say Happy Valentine's Day to you all and I hope you're okay whatever um, circumstances or whatever situation that you're actually in because I know it's difficult. Um, I've experienced it myself so, and I'm still experiencing it. So um, I am thinking of you all today and um, I hope you're okay and you're coping. So today I thought I'd do a lovely Valentine's Day reading just to sit tap into the Divine Masculine's energy to see how he's actually feeling today on Valentine's Day towards his Divine Feminine. So I'm really excited. I'm going to use Oracle cards. I'm going to use um, the Archangel Oracle cards, Archangel Michael Oracle cards and the Daily Guidance Oracle cards and then I've got Ambika Waters Oracle cards and at the end I'm going to do a message for you to uplift you and make sure that you can stay in focus and giving you strength to do this spiritual journey that you're on. So, and then I'll, uh, at some point I will be doing the energy of the masculine as well, how he's feeling, and I've got some special messages, they're new ones that I've done, um, how he'd like, what he'd actually say to you, if he could communicate to you, um, and what he's actually saying to you in the 5D world. So that's gonna be interesting. I've put some lots of new ones in. Um, so I'm really excited because it's Valentine's Day. I've just put lots of different messages in and I've cut them out and put them in heart shapes. So I'm really excited to see which ones come out. Um, and this reading is for people that are in some kind of challenge with their twin flame and separation or no contact. So when I refer to Divine Masculine or Divine Feminine, it's just energy I realise that and the viewer that's watching will be the positive polarity, the conscious one. Um, but I will refer it to him, her, masculine, feminine. Um, but I realise that it's um, just energy, so don't be offended by that. I realise that you can be in the same sex relationship and you can be a male and be a divine feminine and vice versa. So just take it, as I said, as it resonates to you and enjoy this reading and chill. And um, I'm excited to see where his energy is at. So I'm going to start shuffling the card. I'm going to start with the Archangel Oracle cards. The reason why I'm using Oracle cards today is because I think that they give a clearer message of what's actually going on and how God's Spirit is helping the Divine Masculine. So, how is Divine Masculine feeling towards his Divine Feminine on Valentine's Day? Is he feeling the love for her? What energy is he feeling towards the Divine Feminine today on Valentine's Day? Cards. And I'm trying to speak a bit louder today because I did have a comment saying that you couldn't hear what I was saying, but I naturally have got a soft voice. Um, so it's really hard for me to talk loudly. I'm trying to speak a bit louder so you can hear me, so I hope you can. Right, let's see. Sensitivity. Prosperity. Which is really weird because we've had those recently, these cards. Indigo and Crystal Children. Beautiful. Right, now I'm going to get the Daily Guidance. Or cards from Dorian Virtue and these are really cute because they you know it says a lovely cute message on it. How's Divine Masculine feeling today towards his Divine Feminine on you know Valentine's Day, the day of love? Is he feeling the love towards his Divine Feminine? God's Spirit. Mm -hmm. Fresh air. Reward yourself. Opportunity to forgive. Interesting. And then I'm going to get some from Archangel Michael. How oh, divine masculine feeling. Towards the divine feminine, especially today on Valentine's Day. Right, let's see. A favourable outcome. Believe and trust. New beginning and fresh start. How amazing is that? This is all cooking off, guys. 
Right, this is exciting. I hope you can see those ones. Let me just see if I can move them up a bit because the bottom ones you can't see very well. Right, let's get cracking. Right, sensitivity. So he must be feeling quite sensitive today because it's Valentine's Day towards his divine feminine. So let's read what the card says. It's Archangel Haniel. You are extra sensitive to energies and emotions right now. Honour yourself and your feelings. So he is. Look at this beautiful picture as well. This is Divine Feminine. He's feeling very, very um, sensitive today because he's thinking about his Divine Feminine and feeling the love. And um, feeling the loss that he's not going to be able to be with her or whatever situation you're in, just take it as it resonates. Um, so yeah, he's feeling very sensitive and um, God and Spirit is trying to help him um, with his energies and his emotions right now and he needs to all on his feelings and um, realize that he's feeling extra sensitive and, and maybe that's a reason for him to like to go in within and actually just be honest with himself um, so it's, he's just obviously very sensitive of things that are around him what's going on um, so yeah, that's a beautiful card. I would say that's spot on, that he is feeling sensitive because today is a day about love, isn't it? So he's gonna be thinking about his divine feminine and how he wants to be with her and be able to show the love towards her. And um, if you're reading the, I mean, if you're watching this video, you, you're in some separation or challenge. So this, you know, he's not gonna be, he's not actually doing that. So. He's not being truthful at the moment. He hasn't come forward so far. So um, he's feeling extra sensitive today towards you. So let's go on to, I'm gonna go downwards this time. I'm gonna to go to fresh air next. So it says fresh air. Your body needs refreshment from oxygenated air generated by grass, trees, plants and flowers. Spend time outside as near to mother's nature as cradles as possible. Open your curtains and windows to refresh your home as well. So any negative emotion he might be feeling, he needs to get outside and spend some time in nature. And as I said to you before, when you go outside and experience the fresh air, or even if you open your windows, um, you're getting rid of negativity and you're bringing the new in. Um, and when you're outside in nature, you have, when you um, connect with nature, it gives you time to think and appreciate things and put you in the space of gratitude so it's really helpful so he's been guided to actually go outside get some fresh air to get rid of negativity and embrace everything that's around him and to be able to have some time to think about what he wants and to think about his divine feminine so that's a beautiful card and then the favorable outcome is underneath from Archangel Michael. He says, thank you for the beautiful outcome to this situation, which is perfect and fair for everyone involved. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for helping me trust and have faith. So, he could be feeling very grateful and thinking about the situation, how he wants it to end, um, and his, you know, to put his trust in God and have faith that this difficult situation that is him, there is going to be a perfect ending to it and there is a favourable outcome and he's feeling more like that at the moment, his energy is more like that he is, things are coming clearer to him. As we've seen in the last few readings we've done, he's definitely listening to his intuition and going with it more and um, listening to what his gut feelings are and not hiding away, he's coming more up front um, and trusting how he's feeling so that's definitely what he's been guided to do and he's feeling more that this is a, it will be a favorable outcome he's actually can see it and feel it so this is beautiful and then you've got prosperity over here which is a really nice bright card and i love the green dress that she's wearing archangel ariel your material needs are provided as, as you follow your intuition and manifest your dreams into reality so as I just said to you just a minute ago, he's listening to his intuition and God's spirit is trying to guide him to know that everything, all of his dreams, um, there will be prosperity at the end of it. It's all good. He just needs to trust and go within and follow. 
what he knows is right and because there will be prosperity there because he'll be shown and he will be provided and everything will manifest everything you know all of his dreams will just manifest into reality he's just got to go and take that step so and that, that's a beautiful card as well reward yourself and that's a beautiful card You've been giving a lot of yourself lately and it's time for you to receive. Make the time to reward yourself in a meaningful way. This balance of giving and receiving is essential to keeping your energy, mood and motivation and at a consistently high level. So he does need to reward himself from all this beautiful work that he's doing. And he needs, yeah, he he's, needs to have some kind of balance of not giving himself too much. He needs to receive um, as well and realise his worth. And when he can do that, his energy is going to be balanced and um, he will still feel motivated and be consistent with what he's wanting to do. So he definitely needs to reward himself and especially everything he's been doing recently because he's been having big shifts. So that's a beautiful card. So he's been guided to do that and let's hope he does reward himself. Believe and trust. Superb card. Before going to sleep tonight, say, Archangel Michael, please enter my dreams and replace fear with faith and trust. Let me be filled with strength, courage and confidence. So he's been, you know, God's spirit and Archangel Michael is working with him and um, helping him realise he has no reason to fear because he's just got to believe and trust and know that everything's going to be okay and have faith um he wants strength and courage and the confidence to actually keep going through with this big shift is you know what's happening with him at the moment um he just needs to believe and trust when he wants to you can see by these cards that he wants to believe and trust and God is with him and guiding him um, and filling him with the strength and the courage and the confidence. So that's beautiful. A favourable outcome and believe and trust. So that's beautiful. Indigo and crystal children. This is interesting. Archangel Metatron. You have a bond with children. In particular, you can help children who are sensitive. So you're... Divine Masculine could be very good with children, have a beautiful bond with children, or he could be surrounded by children. He's got a special way with children, how he cares for them, and how he's just got a special gift to be with children. So it's really beautiful. Um, he needs to realise how, he how he's helping them, how he can help children, and how he is helping children. So. He could be, you know, an indigo crystal child, so, where he has got this gift with children and um, he loves being around children, so, I'm loving the colour of this green in the back as well, because green is the heart chakra and it's all about love, opening the heart, so, um, that's a beautiful card. Um, he could be thinking about, you know, having children with his Divine Feminine, having a family, wanting children, and how it would be as well. So just take it out how it resonates to you. Opportunity to forgive. This situation brings you the opportunity to heal, grow and release from negative patterns. Hold the intention of seeing the other persons in a divine light and goodness. We will help you release unforgiving thoughts, feelings and energies and lift you to a higher place of peace and compassion. So this is a time for him to use this opportunity to forgive if there's some if he's holding on to things that he can't forgive into another person or maybe something that Divine Feminine he feels has done that he's finding hard to forgive her. So he's been guided to use this time um, as forgiveness. Um, part of this journey is about him forgiving and releasing them because when you can forgive and release any bitterness or anger or anything like that that's when you become zen and you just feel this unbelievable love towards everything and everyone so um 
maybe he's just in a mood of, uh, you know, forgiving and thinking about thinking about maybe forgiving himself as well. I mean, just take how it, how it resonates to you. It could be lots of different scenarios, but forgiveness is, you know, he could be to do with forgiving himself. Maybe he feels he's treated the wrong family wrong. Um, so he's, they're using, you know, he's using this time to forgive himself or others around him and just dealing with the emotion of forgiveness, you know, so that's beautiful. And then we've got an absolutely outstanding card at the bottom here is new beginnings and a fresh start. So let's see what it says. Thank you for bringing me new opportunities and offering support and for helping me release and heal my past. Fill me with trust as I experience these life changes. So yeah, he's got massive changes. He's been shifting and shifting. Definitely in the month of February, there's been a big speed. Um, and him dealing with so many different emotions and of the past and he's definitely wanting this new beginning he's thinking about that today because of his Valentine's Day about his Divine Feminine he wants this new beginning and a fresh start with her um, and he's really feeling it, he wants it and he's actually doing, you know God's Spirit is helping him do this so much because he's lots of different emotions and lots of different blocks that's been blocking this relationship is coming up and things that need to be dealt with and that's the whole point of the spiritual journey you need to deal with them and you know for the viewer that's watching it just showing you that you're doing such a grand job at the moment because your energy is the one that goes to your divine masculine because you're the positive the conscious one um the positive polarity so you're all of your energy goes towards your divine masculine and you have dealt with all of this forgiveness abandonment rejection um about loving yourself feeling worthy and now it's you know channeling through to your divine masculine and he's dealing with it he's shifting um so you must be feeling absolutely wonderful viewer that's watching because you're doing such a good job and where's you can see the results in the cards for the t the energy that i'm tapping into the divine masculine the group of people that are watching this is definitely shifting and coming closer and closer to you both becoming whole so this is such an uplifting beautiful reading I'm going to get um, one more, my last oracle card from the um, Ambika Waters um, to see how he's feeling as well. I love these cards. Very deep messages. How is the masking feeling today? Love towards his divine feminine experience and what he's experiencing. Especially today on Valentine's Day. Is he feeling the love? Oh, that one was there on the bottom, so I'm going to go with that. Young love. Wow. Can you see that? I accept love with gratitude. I am opened and made whole by its beauty. How beautiful is that? young love so um god's spirit is helping him accept love and um, he's not used to accepting love um this is what energy i'm getting with um he, ne he needs to realize that it's okay to accept love um and when he can do this he will feel whole and he will feel so much better in himself he just you know and I would say that this is probably somebody that's a lot younger because he says young love. So um, he needs to ex accept love and be grateful for it and know that it's okay to be loved. And then he will feel whole and he'll feel its beauty of feeling whole because it is amazing to feel you know, to be to feel the love from somebody else or feel love from God especially that's when you feel whole 
So um, this is he's definitely being looked after and guided at the moment, and you know he needs to work on accept acceptance. Acceptance is a massive part of that um, spiritual journey because it's about accepting what is and accepting and receiving love from others as well and knowing that you're worthy of this. So, right, so that's a beautiful, beautiful reading. Um, and I hope it resonated for you um, today. And if it doesn't, it doesn't matter. It just means the message wasn't new for you today. But if you clicked on this video, usually it's because you need to hear this message. And um, maybe if it's not resonating or you can't understand it at all, you know, whatever is going on in the 3D, we have to remember whatever we see on social media, whatever we, we you know, think is going on is never true. It's about what's going on in the 5D and what's really going on inside and how he's feeling. So. Sometimes it can be very confusing because you're thinking, really, does it? Is that true? You know, he doesn't seem to. He seems to be fine actually, and all this. But you know, that's just a mask. You know, what's happening? What you can see in the three D. Right now, I'm going to see where his energy is at in my beautiful pots here, and how he's feeling his energy, and just how he's feeling in general at the moment. So. engagement so yes engagement could be for some of you he's thinking about engagement or it could be that engagement can mean he's engaging with himself you know he's connecting with himself and when we can see that so engagement or it can be you know, he's thinking about engagement whatever situation you're in he's divine feminine and He's wanting his freedom, he's getting there. He's slowly feeling his freedom from living in the present, going in with his, you know, listening to his intuition, not thinking about the past, the future, just being in, living in the now. Um, and he's really wanting this freedom from whatever situation is in now. And he's gradually feeling that freedom as well because he's being honest with himself. Um, and dealing with all this shit that he has to deal with. So that is amazing. Um, right, now I'm really, really excited because these are the messages that I've done, for, especially for Valentine's Day. I've done Green Heart, because it's Green, is the Heart Chakra. That love, opening your heart. So let's see what messages are gonna come out. I'm gonna choose two here. They're really hard to get out, actually. Right, let's see what he would say to you if he had the chance today. And um, what he's actually communicating in the 5D. You're everything I've ever wanted. So that is what he, that's one of the things he would have said. You're everything I've ever wanted. Beautiful. Let's have another go. I'm excited. You've got the power over me. How true is that? What I've just been saying, you've got the power over me. He knows that you've got the power over him <laughs> because he can't get you off of his mind and he can't get you out of his heart and because he knows that there's a special connection and you have got the power over him, um, over him because you are the positive polarity, so your energy does go over, through to him and your power. So that is perfect for today. And another thing I was going to say about You've Got the Power Over Me is um, there's a really good song that I think would be good for twin flame relationships. And it is um, Dermot Kennedy, um, he, the song You've Got the Power Over Me. So it's perfect. That's the song that's coming into my head right now. So how funny is that? So he wants you to know you've got you, you've got power over him and you're my everything. I mean, you're everything I've ever wanted. So he knows all those things. So that's beautiful for Valentine's Day. I hope you enjoyed that. So now I'm going to do a beautiful message for you. It's the reminder card to bring forth your beautiful divine inner spirit. So let's see what, what message have you got today, God Spirit, for the viewer that's watching. How can you help? You are 
Well, that one's flipped out, so I'm going to read that one as well. So you can be lucky and get through today. Seeing it's the day of love. What would you like the view after? In, um, how could you help them and what do you want them to know today on Valentine's Day? Right, so the first one that actually flipped out is choice. And then the second one is meditate and listen. Right, so I'll read choice first. So the message is, we all get to choose what we allow in our energy fields. We get to decide what enters our energy fields and consciousness. Ensure you're making correct choices and allowing only love and good to you all the time. The action to take is, mark your boundaries with people. Only allow love and good into your energy fields. You may have noticed you have spent time with people who feel somewhat draining to be around. This is not personal. The person involved has their own worries and fears in their life. So try and see the situation with compassion. Remove yourself from any situation that doesn't feel good to be in. We always have choice. And the affirmation that you can say to yourself is, I only allow love and good into my energy fields. So you could be feeling drained or you could be surrounded by people that are very negative and draining your energy. So make sure that you're experiencing um, time either alone or spending time with the right people that understand you and that don't drain you and you're, you feel the love when you're around them that's really important otherwise it can take you off track so that's how spirit god is helping you with that and then meditate and listen mess the message here is you have been doing far too much talking lately well yeah so this is um is in alignment with this one you have been doing far too much talking lately when now is the time to truly listen and go within. Think about what you're creating in your life right now. Meditate. The more you talk of something, the more you create more of it. Take appropriate action in bringing forth your true desires and opposed to creating more of what you don't want. Action to take. Meditate and listen more. Only talk about what is going on in the present moment of your life as it's opposed to the past or the future. I listen to my higher self and take action appropriately. So you've been guided just to listen to your higher self and take quiet time. And like I said, this is very good in a good alignment with this other card. You must spend time meditating, quieting the, the mind. Living in the now is the whole purpose of aligning with your soul. You need to align with your soul and live in the present and just accept what is. Um, so just take... Do some more meditation and work on that and just um, surround yourself with the people that you know that you can, that make you feel good, not the ones that are draining you. Um, and stop those nasty thoughts that you're having and just quieten your mind, yeah. And don't think about the past or the future, just think about what's happening now. And if being in the now is painful, experience that pain. Don't push it away, you've got to experience it. It's really important. Don't just like, oh, I can't deal with this. Accept that actually I feel shit or I feel really upset. This has really triggered me. Notice what's triggering you. It's very helpful. And then you're actually dealing with it, you know, and then it's not going to come up again. Actually just deal with what you're feeling and accept what's going on. If you're missing your divine masculine, accept that you miss him. And try and detach yourself from the physical person because it isn't about the physical person. It's about your soul because you're one soul in two physical bodies so just remember that um, and then when you can do that when you can detach yourself from the physical person you will bring him or her back to you you will attract them back because that's naturally what happens because you're aligning with your soul and your one soul like I said so guys this is a beautiful reading um, I hope you get through Valentine's Day and you've had a nice Valentine's Day Feel good, feel the love, and know that you're not separated really from your divine masculine because you're one soul and you're always together. It's eternal love, and um, this is a spiritual journey. And just concentrate on your ascension and just focus on that and look after yourself, it's really important. Right, so if you haven't subscribed already, don't forget to subscribe, um, like this video if you liked it, and I'll be doing another reason maybe in a couple of days and um, keep work, you know, concentrating on yourself, like I said, and I'm sending you 
lots of support, lots of love and light. And I'll see you next time. Bye.